I will show you how to stop overpaying for ManyChat and cut the cost of your ManyChat subscription. And this is the exact strategy I've used to help my clients save hundreds of dollars every single month. And the best part, once you set it up, it runs on autopilot, saving you money forever. And we will create this in four simple steps. So let's start with the first one, which is understanding the ManyChat pricing. So with ManyChat, you pay for the number of contacts that you have. And one contact is one person that talks to you on Instagram, Facebook, or WhatsApp. And the more contacts you have, the higher the price you pay. So for example, if you have two and a half thousand contacts, then you need to pay $25 a month. And if you have 25,000 contacts, then you need to pay $165 a month. But what most people don't realize is that they have many contacts in their ManyChat account that they don't use. So these are people that for example reach out to you once and then never talk to you again so instead of keeping all of your many chat contacts i actually recommend to only keep the contacts that add value to your business and that actually brings us to step two which is deciding on what many chat contacts you want to keep so whenever a client comes to me with this with this problem i basically ask one simple question it's like okay what data do you have on your contacts and what data do you think is important so for most of my clients we at least collect someone's first name and we collect their email so whenever i have someone's name or whenever i have the email i want to keep that many chat contacts so the next time they enter one of the funnels we already have that data and we don't need to ask that data again and that will make sure that the conversion of your funnel increases and that adds value to your business so what you need to think of is like what many chat contacts do i want to keep so you need to think about okay for example if i have someone's name or whenever i have their email or their phone number but you also can think of custom fields that you use in your many chat account or even tags and it could also be that you're using many chat sequences so if someone is currently in a many chat sequence then you don't want to delete them so that's basically the stuff that you want to think about okay what data is important and what features do i use in many chat and are people People, for example currently in a sequence so that's actually step two you need to think about okay what many chat contacts do i want to keep and once you have decided on that then we can go to step three which is creating an automatic rule to delete your many chat contacts so if we head over to many chat then we can just go to a new automation and then we can create an automation which is called auto delete contacts and what you wanna do here is like the first step is you want to add a condition. So for the rest of this video, I want to delete people when I don't have their first name and when I don't have their email. If I have their email or I have their first name, then I want to keep them. So that's what I'm going to add here to this condition. What we're going to do here is we're going to say, if the first name is unknown and the email is unknown, right? So I don't have their first name, I don't have their email, then I want to delete them. So you need to make sure that this is set to all of the following conditions. You can also set this to any, you need to make sure that this is set to all. So whenever we don't have their first name and we don't have their email, then I want to delete them from my ManyChat account, right? So we can do that by using an action. So here you can click on action, click on here, click on contact data, and then you want to set the Instagram opt-out. So for this tutorial, I will just be doing this for Instagram, and I actually recommend setting the opt-out. If you have multiple channels, so for example, also Facebook and WhatsApp, you should also set the opt-out for Facebook as well, for WhatsApp as well. Then here, there's also another option, which is deleting the contact. I don't recommend doing that, because if you set the opt-out, your ManyChat bill will actually already go down, but you can still see those people in your ManyChat account. If you delete the contact, you will never see them again and it could be that in the future you want to look back or anything like that so in any case i just recommend only setting the opt-out for the channel that you use so in this case i'm just doing this for instagram so i set the instagram opt-out so basically what we do is we check we don't have any data that's important to our business and then if we don't have any data then we set the opt-out so then we set this live but then we still need to trigger this and we are going to trigger this by using a rule so the rule here is that here we can add a new trigger we add the contact event and then here we use the daytime occurred so then we set this to trigger goes off 30 days after the last interaction in instagram 
So this basically means that if someone didn't interact with us on Instagram, then this trigger will start and then this automation will start, right? So then we are hitting save and now this is working. So now for any person that didn't interact with us for 30 days, then we're going to check, okay, do we have any data? So if we don't have any data on them, then I set the Instagram opt-out. When we set the Instagram opt-out, your ManyChat bill will go down. So now we automatically delete contacts in your ManyChat account that aren't valuable. But this doesn't work for already existing contacts. And that brings us to step four, bulk deleting existing contacts. And we are going to do that by using a sequence. So in ManyChat, you can go to automation, then click on sequence and then create a new sequence. And I will just call the sequence auto delete context. And then I will just add the date of today. So it's today's like 16 January. So it's like 16 January, 2025, right? So I know whenever I did this. And the reason why we use a sequence instead of using a rule is that if you want to do this at bulk, you cannot use a rule. You can only use a sequence in ManyChat. So here you can click on message. Then we want to do this immediately. So you can set this here to immediately and then click on save and update. So here you want to click on select existing and then basically select the automation we just created. So what basically happens now is that anytime we add someone to this specific sequence, we send this automation and this automation will check if we have any data. And if we don't have any data, we set the Instagram opt out. So that's basically the sequence what, that we created. And you want to make sure that if you here go down, then that this is enabled. And then we can trigger the sequence from the context tab. So what you want to do here is you want to filter on the people that you want to delete. So in this case, we're going to choose for last interaction in Instagram is more than 30 days ago. The first name is unknown and the email is unknown as well. So currently in my account, I only have three people, but you probably have more people in your account that like fit these criteria. And you need to make sure that you basically repeat the same criteria as that we do in our automation. So you make sure that you don't make any mistakes, right? So once you have selected all the people that you wanna delete, what you are going to do here, select them all, then click on bulk action, and then click on subscribe to sequence, and then add the sequence we just created, which is auto delete context. So here you can click on save, then it will ask you, okay, are you sure? And we are sure, so we can click on confirm, and that's it. So now ManyChat will set the opt-out for all of these contacts and that will make sure that your ManyChat bill will go down. So if we head over to settings here and then to billing, I just wanted to let you know that sometimes it can take one or two days before you see the changes here in the price. So if you don't see these changes immediately, like that can happen, sometimes it takes one or two days. And that's it. That's how you can stop overpaying for ManyChat. But what's most important is that you create chat funnels that bring value to your business. So if you want to get started quickly with this, please check out this video.